Welcome to GV TV, episode 11, coming to you from the Grovedale Hotel. On this program, we highlight the official launch of the 2016 Oaks Vic Open, speak with defending champions Richard Green and Marianne Scarpnord, head out on course to sharpen up your game, and put Jared Lyle and Jackie Glazier under the microscope for some rapid fire questions. something fantastic every year. Uh, and if we look back when Minji Lee won as an amateur, uh, won the women's events, now got on to be the highest ranked female player in the country. She's won on the US tour. Um, Karen will be able to help me out here, but I think she's now top 15 in the world. Uh, and it started for her here. Uh, she, she won this event uh, as an amateur. And we saw young Ben Eccles, who, who was so fantastic last year, a local boy who won the New South Wales Open on the weekend as an amateur. It is an event that allows people to, to get an opportunity to play really high level competitive golf as young players and we don't joke about the, the tagline where stars are born, we, we really mean it and we hope that we can continue to give opportunities for young players to, to cut their teeth in the, the tough world that is professional golf. No, could you sense that that support was uh, coming from that corporate maker? Even the Premier was, was on board with you. Yeah, I could, I, I could. I, I knew that um that, you know, in the going to the playoff that, that Mariana had won, and uh, I knew everything about the the, the fact that I, that I needed to, to make it the fairy tale when I needed to win. Um, so, yeah, for me, I, I felt like I was going to win. You know, even though I was in a pressure situation, and, and uh, um, you know, it's a playoff, and yeah, every chance you, you you might not win, I still felt like I was going to win. So, you know, maybe that's the thoughts and thought process you have to have to win? Um, my year has been really good. Um, obviously last year I fell when I was um, on the ice and broke my wrist Ooh. and uh, kind of didn't have very big expectations for the Open last year in the beginning of the season. Um, but I got off to a really good start and um, it obviously gave me a lot of confidence and I just pushed on for the rest of the winter and I played fairly good. Unfortunately, in Europe this year we've had um, too many weeks off, so it's been like one week on, a couple of weeks off, two weeks on, three weeks off. So I feel that, um, at least for me, the winter part was the best part of the year because then we played all the time. You know, I, I, went into the, I went into the European season as, with as much confidence as, as, I've, as I've had, you know, throughout my career. You know, obviously on the back of a win is, is uh, you know, it, it gives you such a boost that you know, you're flying along and, and golf at, at the European tour level is, is all about confidence. You know, everybody can play, everybody can hit the ball well. And it's just about how good you feel about yourself and, and um, you, you go from there. The holy one, we saw it there on the vision. And for those in the room that are unsure of the number of planets that need to line up, for someone, A, to get a hole in one, which clearly obviously had Rookie lying in the bunker and throwing it onto the green, I would suggest, because you don't get that sort of bounce. Secondly, for the cameraman to actually be there on site. Thirdly, for the cameraman to have it in focus and actually get the ball going from tee to, to green. Extraordinary sort of stuff, and it is there for posterity. Are you still getting drinks bought for you on the back of that? Are you still bragging? Is it still one you've got over your partner? Always, oh, always. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's been amazing this year, the response, and, and um, you know, I've played through pro-ams and I've played uh, all the players on the European tour, I've spoken to all of the, the tour staff, everybody that's involved in, in, in my life have all mentioned it and spoken about it and said how amazing it was. And, uh, you know, like you say, the, the stars aligned that, that, that day, that week, in, in every way. I think it's great fun. Um, I wish we had more tournaments like that back in Europe. 
Uh, we have one in Morocco where we play um, at the same place, but two different courses. Um, but it's just, it's just so much, I don't know why, but it's just so much fun that when the boys and girls are playing together, it's a completely different atmosphere. Um, you know what it can be like when it's like 140 girls every week, you know what I mean? No, no, that's clear about that actually. Like we love the, love the big open, we love coming back to play and uh, enjoy the, the event so much that I think that's going to that's going to help that along. The atmosphere and the vibe amongst us both is, is great. So I'm looking forward to coming back and giving it my best shot. It's going to be hard to replicate the, the hole in one, but I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe something else will happen. Something else from another player somewhere along the line might uh, come out and give, give the tournament such a great plug. Um, I've been advertising this tournament now for about nine months in Europe. So um, I'm just carrying the trophy uh, around with you. <laughs> So I think there's a few more girls going to come from Europe. Um, I forced a couple to come that don't really want to travel that far, but now they're going to. Um, so I think the women's field are going to be very, very strong next year. And um, it's going to be, it'd be tough because you're probably going to feel a little bit of pressure when you won last year and you want to do it again. But um, I think it's going to be a great week. I'm really looking forward to it and hopefully um, I can pull it off again. Hi, my name's Grace Daniel and today I'm going to be talking about the pivot and how important it is for your golf swing. So the basics of your pivot is you want to stand about shoulder width apart and bend from your hips. And when you pivot, you want to pivot back to the top of your swing and have most of your body weight on your back foot. So your right foot, left if you're a lefty. And then from there you want to pivot through and, and transfer that weight from your right foot to your left foot. So through the ball. So basically you want to go about 60 to 70 percent of your weight on your back foot and then you transfer it through, hitting the ball and putting it, putting the rest, 100% uh, of your weight on your left foot. For GVTV, here with Richard Green and Marianne Scarpnord, the 2015 Oats Vic Open winners, joining us here today at the official launch for the 2016 event. Guys, it uh, must have been enjoyable talking about uh, the fantastic win earlier this year. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, the win earlier this year was obviously a dream come true. Um, so much happened that week and the week before and uh, it's like you couldn't even believe what happened. It was, um, it was what everyone says, a fairy tale. Yeah, look, it, was, it was a great week and it was nice to, uh, nice to be back and, and be at the launch and for, the, for the 2016 Vic Open and bring back all those memories and, you know, and there were some great ones that week and you know, like Marina said, it was a fairy tale and, uh, and we love it and like to relive it and think about it. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be it's going to be fun to go back and play. And we have made the announcement that it's going to be up to three hundred thousand dollars as a minimum for prize money, uh, equal for men and women, so six hundred all up. Um, Marianne, you spoke about um, before having the fact that uh, women will be playing for equal prize money. It's something that you probably don't see enough of um, around the world. No, I am very grateful and very happy that you guys actually give us a chance to play for the same amount as the guys plays for because in Europe the difference is very very big and um, I don't think we've ever played for the same amount of money before as the guys and uh, I think we deserve it to be honest uh, we put in the work we do exactly the same as what they do and um, I really think that we deserve to play for more money so I'm really happy that the Vic Open is doing it this way. Fantastic. Well, uh, thanks for joining us today and uh, good luck over the, uh, the next couple of months and we'll see you back down here in February for the Oats Vic Open. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I love dogs, but the rest of my girls love cats, so I think I'm stuck with cats. Dogs, they're more trustworthy. Cats are way too volatile for my liking. Oh, I was kicked out of a golf club because I was standing in the wrong area and my shorts didn't go to my knees. I don't know. 
uh, splitting my pants on the ninth green in a tournament in the States. Um, hold my 30 footer with a massive hole in the back of my strides and then ran to the pro shop, bought a new pair and then birdied the 10th hole as well. So it was kind of a, a funny, funny little situation. Sitting outside in the corridor where I spent most of my time. Um, yeah, I, I remember, just a quick little story, I remember walking into a maths class one day and the teacher looked at me and goes, you might as well just wait outside. So I said, fine, oh, I'll go out there. So I was never, I was never a real academic, mate, put it that way. <laughs> uh, fifth Ed. Ryan Gosling. I have a top five. <laughs> that changes week to week, day to day. But one of, the one girl that probably hasn't come out of there is Jessica Elba. Thanks for joining us on GVTV. We'll see you next time.